Hi, it's Pastor Smith again. I'm back with yet another interview. We met Ms. Mr. Bringold, our new principal. We met Mrs. Wagner, the first grade teacher. And now we meet Mr. Phil Wargel. Phil is our new eighth grade teacher. He's into technology. Uh, he enjoys all those sorts of things. And so we get to meet him today. And uh, Phil, I'm going to start off with asking you to tell me about your family. Um, my wife is Nikki, uh, Nikki Wargel. And she teaches at uh, St. Peter McCone. Uh, she teaches first grade there. Um, I have two uh, twin girl and boy seventh graders, Ty and Kesey, um, and they will be at uh, St. Peter McComb this year still. Um, I came, grew up in a family of Lutherans. My dad was a pastor. I attended Lutheran schools, graduated from Lutheran East, um, went on to Concordia, um, and I eventually got back into the ministry. Um, and have enjoyed it since I've started. Uh, it's kind of a, a fun little fact. Uh, Phil's dad was Mr. Wargo, not Pastor Wargo. Yeah. Back in the day when I knew him, he was the guidance counselor at North, and he left there, I think, after the year 78, is the, when he first left there the first time. Yeah. And so uh, he has no memory of me, nor should he. But uh, I do remember your dad from those days. And uh, you kind of touched on it, but what, what brought you into the teaching ministry? Why, why this for you? When I was doing youth group in Cincinnati, we started um, helping Nikki and her school and just loved being around kids again. Um, and I went back to school, got my certification, and then I've been teaching at Reed City, Trinity Reed City, St. Peter East Point, and then the last 13 years at St. Peter Macomb. Um, I love sharing the salvation that we find in Jesus every day with the kids. Um, I like seeing their interests and going with their interests and um, allowing them to be creative. Um, being around kids and working in a, a Lutheran school is just something that's uh, special to me. Um, and it's something that um, isn't, you can't really put words on it, but it's, it's awesome. Yeah, it is fun. Uh, I was just talking with one of the 8th graders in the hallway, 8th graders to be this year, and uh, I enjoy hanging out with the 8th graders uh, for an hour. That's my yep. limit, okay? And uh, it's just fun because you can tease them a little bit and they still uh, aren't sure how to react, but they like the fact that you're interacting with them. Um, uh, Phil, you're also going to be kind of in charge of technology for the school. Can you tell me how you got into technology and, and just very briefly some of the things that you're hoping to see happen? Well, as technology evolved and Google became something schools could use, I've had Gmail forever and started to see it evolve and the tools that were happening. And uh, then Chromebooks came along and more, you could have accounts so that it allowed us to manage it pretty easily, but also to uh, do different things that allow the kids to be creative and produce new things that um, they can be proud of. Um, and the communication is great with kids. You can send little messages back and forth within Google Classroom. Um, but it is still just a tool. Um, it, we use it to enhance our, our teaching. Um, and it allows us, obviously, in today's world uh, to still be connected with kids if they're outside the classroom or whatever happens in mm -hmm. this world that we have to, to battle with. Um, and it's a great opportunity, and it's a great blessing that we can be able to do that. And St. John Fraser has um, a lot of things, great, a lot of great things already in place. Good. Um, I guess that brings me to, to this question: Is uh, what brought you to us at this time? What brought you and said St. John is a good place to be right now? Um, truly, the Lord pulled my heart down here. Um, it was it was pretty tricky, uh, but. Um, I found that uh, when I visited and when I met all the people in attending church, it was just where it's at, where it was supposed to be. So, uh, well, no, no problem. It's just, it's again interesting how different people end up different places. Mm -hmm. uh, I know when I got the call here, I had no intention of leaving South Wisconsin. Yeah. And 17 years later, I'm the only man around here now. Yeah. And it's, it's amazing how that works. And God is good mm -hmm. in the way He works in His ways. Um, I guess one last thing, and then, do you have anything else you want to say in closing to uh, to those who are viewing this today? Well, everyone I've met and 
started to get to know pastors and the teachers and the families that reached out to me and meeting them. They've, it's been very open and welcome, um, very personal. I look forward to building on those relationships and, and establishing myself here um, as a career teacher and helping lead with the leadership of technology and just problem solving. A lot, I got a lot to learn. I know that. I, we're getting into it today and tomorrow, and we welcome kids to school already Wednesday. Um, and we have prayers that we can be together as long as possible and that this world uh, kind of changes and goes back to normal, but we're prepared for anything. Yeah, there's a lot going on. and What it all means for us, we don't know. Uh, there, there's important things that you touched on, right? One, we know the Lord's in charge, right? Yep. It's, it's in his hands. Uh, and the other is uh, we really don't have anything to fear, do we? I mean, it can be frightening if we look at it from the outside, but we remember that the Lord works always the best for his people. Yes. And that, that's the comfort we can take from all of this. I uh, thank you, Mr. Wardle, for sitting down for a few minutes with us. Uh, I hope that you all benefited from not only meeting Mr. Wardle, but Mrs. Wagner and Mr. Bringle. Uh, and if you enjoyed these, let me know, and maybe we can get back and do some more of these with other people sometime. Uh, the Lord be with you. Thank you for your time.